Brought to you by WikiVD Documentaries. Greenland. Greenland is an autonomous constituent country within the Kingdom of Denmark between the Arctic and Atlantic Oceans, east of the Canadian Arctic Archipelago. Though physiographically a part of the continent of North America, Greenland has been politically and culturally associated with Europe for more than a millennium. The majority of its residents are Inuit, whose ancestors began migrating from the Canadian mainland in the 13th century, gradually settling across the island. Greenland is the world's largest island. Three quarters of Greenland is covered by the only permanent ice sheet outside Antarctica, with a population of about 56,480. It is the least densely populated country in the world. The Arctic Umiak Line ferry acts as a lifeline for Western Greenland, connecting the various cities and settlements. Greenland has been inhabited off and on for at least the last 4,500 years by Arctic peoples whose forebears migrated there from what is now Canada. Norsemen settled the uninhabited southern part of Greenland beginning in the 10th century, and Inuit peoples arrived in the 13th century. The Norse colonies disappeared in the late 15th century, soon after their demise. Beginning in 1499, the Portuguese briefly explored and claimed the island naming it Terra de Lavrador. In the early 18th century, Scandinavian explorers reached Greenland again to strengthen trading in power. Denmark-Norway affirmed sovereignty over the island. Denmark-Norway claimed Greenland. For centuries, Greenland was settled by Vikings more than a thousand years ago, who had previously settled Iceland to escape persecution from the King of Norway and his central government, Vikings set sail from Greenland and Iceland, encountering North America nearly 500 years before Columbus reached the Caribbean islands. They attempted to colonize land, though under continuous influence of Norway and Norwegians. Greenland was not formally under the Norwegian crown until 1262. The Kingdom of Norway was extensive and a military power until the mid-14th century. Norway was dramatically hit with a larger death toll than Denmark by the Black Death, forcing Norway to accept a union in which the central government, university, and other fundamental institutions were located in Copenhagen. Thus, the two kingdoms' resources were directed at creating Copenhagen. Norway became the weaker part, and lost sovereignty over Greenland in 1814 when the Union was dissolved. Greenland became a Danish colony in 1814, and was made a part of the Danish realm in 1953 under the Constitution of Denmark. In 1973, Greenland joined the European Economic Community with Denmark. However, in a referendum in 1982, a majority of the population voted for Greenland to withdraw from the EEC which was affected in 1985. Greenland contains the world's largest and most northernly national park, Northeast Greenland National Park, established in 1974 and expanded to its present size in 1988. It protects of the interior and northeastern coast of Greenland and is bigger than all but 29 countries in the world. Greenland is divided into four municipalities Sermasuk, Kudalik, Kasutsip, and Kikata. In 1979, Denmark had granted home rule to Greenland, and in 2008, Greenlanders voted in favor of the Self-Government Act, which transferred more power from the Danish government to the local Greenlandic government. Under the new structure, in effect, since 21 June 2009, Greenland can gradually assume responsibility for policing, judicial system, company law, accounting, and auditing, mineral resource activities, aviation, 
Law of Legal Capacity, Family Law and Succession Law, Aliens and Border Controls, The Working Environment, and Financial Regulation and Supervision. While the Danish government retains control of foreign affairs and defense, it also retains control of monetary policy, providing an initial annual subsidy of 3 Danish kroner.4 billion, which is planned to diminish gradually over time. Greenland expects to grow its economy based on increased income from the extraction of natural resources. The capital, Nuuk, held the 2016 Arctic Winter Games. At 70%, Greenland has one of the highest shares of renewable energy in the world, mostly coming from hydropower. Etymology the early Viking settlers named the island as Greenland. In the Icelandic sagas, the Norwegian-born Icelander Erik the Red was said to be exiled from Iceland for manslaughter. Along with his extended family and his thralls, he set out in ships to explore an icy land known to lie to the northwest. After finding a habitable area and settling there, he named it supposedly in the hope that the pleasant name would attract settlers. The name of the country in Greenlandic is the Kalaralit of the indigenous Greenlandic Inuit people who inhabit the country's western region. Early Paleo-Eskimo Cultures In prehistoric times, Greenland was home to several successive Paleo-Eskimo cultures known today primarily through archaeological finds. The earliest entry of the Paleo-Eskimo into Greenland is thought to have occurred about 2500 BC. From around 2500 BC to 800 BC, southern and western Greenland were inhabited by the Sikark culture. Most finds of Sakak period archaeological remains have been around Disco Bay, including the site of Sakak, after which the culture is named. From 2400 BC to 1300 BC, the independent Sai culture existed in northern Greenland. It was a part of the Arctic small tool tradition. Towns, including Delta Terrasern, started to appear. Around 800 BC, the Sakak culture disappeared, and the early Dorset culture emerged in western Greenland, and the Independence II culture in northern Greenland. The Dorset culture was the first culture to extend throughout the Greenlandic coastal areas, both on the west and east coasts. It lasted until the total onset of the Thule culture in 1500 AD. The Dorset culture population lived primarily from hunting of whales and caribou. Norse Settlement From 986, Greenland's west coast was settled by Icelanders and Norwegians. Through a contingent of 14 boats led by Erik the Red, they formed three settlements, known as the Eastern Settlement, the Western Settlement, and the Middle Settlement, on fjords near the southwesternmost tip of the island. They shared the island with the late Dorset culture inhabitants who occupied the northern and western parts, and later with the Thule culture that entered from the north. North Greenlanders submitted to Norwegian rule in the 13th century under the Norwegian Empire. Later the Kingdom of Norway entered into a personal union with Denmark in 1380 and from 1397 was a part of the Kalmar Union. The Norse settlements, such as Bratalith, thrived for centuries, but disappeared sometime in the 15th century, perhaps at the onset of the Little Ice Age. Apart from some runic inscriptions, no contemporary records or historiography survives from the Norse settlements. Medieval Norwegian sagas and historical works mention Greenland's economy as well as the bishops of Garda and the collection of tithes. A chapter in the Konungskogsjar describes Norse Greenland's exports and imports as well as grain cultivation. 
Icelandic saga accounts of life in Greenland were composed in the 13th century and later, and do not constitute primary sources for the history of early Norse Greenland. Modern understanding therefore mostly depends on the physical data from archaeological sites. Interpretation of ice core and clam shell data suggests that between 800 and 1300, the regions around the fjords of southern Greenland experienced a relatively mild climate several degrees Celsius higher than usual in the North Atlantic, with trees and herbaceous plants growing and livestock being farmed. Barley was grown as a crop up to the 70th parallel. What is verifiable is that the ice cores indicate Greenland has had dramatic temperature shifts many times over the past 100,000 years. Similarly, the Icelandic Book of Settlements records famines during the winters, in which the old and helpless were killed and thrown over cliffs. These Icelandic settlements vanished during the 14th and early 15th centuries. The demise of the Western settlement coincides with a decrease in summer and winter temperatures. A study of North Atlantic seasonal temperature variability during the Little Ice Age showed a significant decrease in maximum summer temperatures beginning in the late 13th century to early 14th century, as much as lower than modern summer temperatures. The study also found that the lowest winter temperatures of the last 2,000 years occurred in the late 14th century and early 15th century. The eastern settlement was likely abandoned in the early to mid-15th century, during this cold period. Theories drawn from archaeological excavations at Herjolfsnes in the 1920s suggest that the condition of human bones from this period indicates that the Norse population was malnourished, maybe due to soil erosion resulting from the Norsemen's destruction of natural vegetation in the course of farming, turf cutting, and wood cutting. Malnutrition may also have resulted from widespread deaths due to pandemic plague, the decline in temperatures during the Little Ice Age, and armed conflicts with the Skraelings. In 1379, the Inuit attacked the eastern settlement, killed 18 men, and captured two boys and a woman. Recent archaeological studies somewhat challenge the general assumption that the Norse colonization had a dramatic negative environmental effect on the vegetation. Data support traces of a possible Norse soil amendment strategy. More recent evidence suggests that the Norse, who never numbered more than about 2,500, gradually abandoned the Greenland settlements over the 1400s as walrus ivory. The most valuable export from Greenland decreased in price due to competition with other sources of higher quality ivory, and that there was actually little evidence of starvation or difficulties. Other theories about the disappearance of the Norse settlement have been proposed. The Thule Culture, 1300 present. The Thule people are the ancestors of the current Greenlandic population. No genes from the Paleo Eskimos have been found in the present population of Greenland. The Thule culture migrated eastward from what is now known as Alaska around 1000, reaching Greenland around 1300. The Thule culture was the first to introduce to Greenland such technological innovations as dog sleds and toggling harpoons. 1500-1814 In 1500, King Manuel I of Portugal sent Gaspar Court Real to Greenland in search of a northwest passage to Asia which, according to the Treaty of Tordesillas, was part of Portugal's sphere of influence. In 1501, Court Real returned with his brother, Miguel Court Real. Finding the sea frozen, they headed south and arrived in Labrador and Newfoundland. Upon the brothers' return to Portugal, the cartographic information supplied 
by Court Real was incorporated into a new map of the world which was presented to Urkel I Dest Duke of Ferrara by Alberto Cantino in 1502. The Cantino planisphere, made in Lisbon accurately depicts the southern coastline of Greenland. In 1605-1607, King Christian IV of Denmark sent a series of expeditions to Greenland and Arctic waterways to locate the lost Eastern Norse settlement and assert Danish sovereignty over Greenland. The expeditions were mostly unsuccessful, partly due to leaders who lacked experience with the difficult Arctic ice and weather conditions, and partly because the expedition leaders were given instructions to search for the eastern settlement on the east coast of Greenland just north of Cape Farewell, which is almost inaccessible due to southward drifting ice. The pilot on all three trips was English explorer James Hall. After the Norse settlements died off, the area came under the de facto control of various Inuit groups. But the Danish government never forgot or relinquished the claims to Greenland that it had inherited from the Norse. When it re-established contact with Greenland in the early 18th century, Denmark asserted its sovereignty over the island. In 1721, a joint mercantile and clerical expedition led by Danish-Norwegian missionary Hans Ege was sent to Greenland, not knowing whether a Norse civilization remained there. This expedition is part of the Dano-Norwegian colonization of the Americas. After 15 years in Greenland, Hans Egerty left his son Paul Egerty in charge of the mission there, and returned to Denmark, where he established a Greenland seminary. This new colony was centered at Godthab on the southwest coast. Gradually, Greenland was opened up to Danish merchants, and closed to those from other countries. Treaty of Kiel to World War II When the union between the crowns of Denmark and Norway was dissolved in 1814, the Treaty of Kiel severed Norway's former colonies and left them under the control of the Danish monarch. Norway occupied then uninhabited eastern Greenland as Erik the Red Land in July 1931, claiming that it constituted terra nullis. Norway and Denmark agreed to submit the matter in 1933 to the Permanent Court of International Justice, which decided against Norway. Greenland's connection to Denmark was severed on 9 April 1940, early in World War II, after Denmark was occupied by Nazi Germany. On 8 April 1941, the United States occupied Greenland to defend it against a possible invasion by Germany. The United States occupation of Greenland continued until 1945. Greenland was able to buy goods from the United States and Canada by selling cryolite from the mine at over to it. The major air bases were Bluey West 1 at Nars Airshuak and Bluey West 8 at Sonder Stromfjord both of which are still used as Greenland's major international airports. Bluey was the military code name for Greenland. During this war, the system of government changed. Governor Eskbrun ruled the island under a law of 1925 that allowed governors to take control under extreme circumstances. Governor Axel Svein was transferred to the United States to lead the commission to supply Greenland. The Danish Sirius Patrol guarded the northeastern shores of Greenland in 1942 using dog sleds. They detected several German weather stations and alerted American troops, who destroyed the facilities. After the collapse of the Third Reich, Albert Speer briefly considered escaping in a small aeroplane to hide out in Greenland but changed his mind and decided to surrender to the United States Armed Forces. Greenland had been a protected and very isolated society until 1940. The Danish government had maintained a strict monopoly of Greenlandic trade, allowing only small-scale troking with Scottish whalers. 
In wartime Greenland developed a sense of self-reliance through self-government and independent communication with the outside world. Despite this change, in 1946 a commission including the highest Greenlandic council, the Landsraedeen, recommended patience and no radical reform of the system. Two years later, the first step towards a change of government was initiated when a Grand Commission was established. A final report was presented in 1950. Greenland was to be a modern welfare state with Denmark as sponsor and example. In 1953 Greenland was made an equal part of the Danish Kingdom. Home rule was granted in 1979. Home rule and self-rule Following World War II, the United States developed a geopolitical interest in Greenland. And in 1946 the United States offered to buy the island from Denmark for $100 million. Denmark refused to sell it. In the 21st century, the United States, according to WikiLeaks, remains highly interested in investing in the resource base of Greenland and in tapping hydrocarbons off the Greenlandic coast. In 1950 Denmark agreed to allow the US to re-establish Thule Air Base in Greenland. It was greatly expanded between 1951 and 1953 as part of a unified NATO Cold War defense strategy. The local population of three nearby villages was moved more than 100 kilometers away in the winter. The United States tried to construct a subterranean network of secret nuclear missile launch sites in the Greenlandic ice cap, named Project Iceworm. It managed this project from Camp Century from 1960 to 1966 before abandoning it as unworkable. The Danish government did not become aware of the program's mission until 1997, when they discovered it while looking for records related to the crash of a nuclear-equipped B-52 bomber at Thule in 1968. With the 1953 Danish constitution, Greenland's colonial status ended as the island was incorporated into the Danish realm as an AMT. Danish citizenship was extended to Greenlanders. Danish policies toward Greenland consisted of a strategy of cultural assimilation, or de Greenlandification. During this period, the Danish government promoted the exclusive use of the Danish language in official matters and required Greenlanders to go to Denmark for their post-secondary education. Many Greenlandic children grew up in boarding schools in southern Denmark, and a number lost their cultural ties to Greenland, while the policies succeeded in the sense of shifting Greenlanders from being primarily subsistence hunters into being urbanized wage earners. The Greenlandic elite began to reassert a Greenlandic cultural identity. A movement developed in favor of independence, reaching its peak in the 1970s as a consequence of political complications in relation to Denmark's entry into the European Common Market in 1972. Denmark began to seek a different status for Greenland, resulting in the Home Rule Act of 1979. This gave Greenland limited autonomy with its own legislature taking control of some internal policies, while the Parliament of Denmark maintained full control of external policies, security, and natural resources. The law came into effect on 1 May 1979. The Queen of Denmark, Margaret II, remains Greenland's head of state. In 1985, Greenland left the European Economic Community upon achieving self-rule, as it did not agree with the EEC's commercial fishing regulations and an EEC ban on seal skin products. Greenland voters approved a referendum on greater autonomy on 25 November 2008. On 21 June 2009, Greenland gained self-rule with provisions for assuming responsibility 
for self-government of judicial affairs, policing, and natural resources. Also, Greenlanders were recognized as a separate people under international law. Denmark maintains control of foreign affairs and defense matters. Denmark upholds the annual block grant of 3.2 billion Danish krona, but as Greenland begins to collect revenues of its natural resources, the grant will gradually be diminished. This is generally considered to be a step toward eventual full independence from Denmark. Greenlandic was declared the sole official language of Greenland at the historic ceremony. Geography and Climate Greenland is the world's largest non-continental island, and the third largest country in North America. It lies between latitudes 59 degrees and 83 degrees north, and longitudes 11 degrees and 74 degrees west. The Atlantic Ocean borders Greenland's southeast, the Greenland Sea is to the east, the Arctic Ocean is to the north, and Baffin Bay is to the west. The nearest countries are Canada, to the west and southwest across Baffin Bay, and Iceland, east of Greenland in the Atlantic Ocean. Greenland also contains the world's largest national park, and it is the largest dependent territory by area in the world. The average daily temperature of Nuuk, Greenland varies over the seasons from the total area of Greenland is, of which the Greenland ice sheet covers, and has a volume of approximately. The highest point on Greenland is Gunbjorn F. Geld, out of the Watkins Range. The majority of Greenland, however, is less than in elevation. The weight of the ice sheet has depressed the central land area to form a basin lying more and below sea level, while elevations rise suddenly and steeply near the coast. The ice flows generally to the coast from the center of the island. A survey led by French scientist Paul Emile Victor in 1951 concluded that, under the ice sheet, Greenland is composed of three large islands. This is disputed, but if it is so, they would be separated by narrow straits, reaching the sea at Ilulissat Ice Fjord, at Greenland's Grand Canyon and south of Nordostrundingen. All towns and settlements of Greenland are situated along the ice-free coast, with the population being concentrated along the west coast. The northeastern part of Greenland is not part of any municipality but it is the site of the world's largest national park, Northeast Greenland National Park. At least four scientific expedition stations and camps had been established on the ice sheet in the ice-covered central part of Greenland. Ice Mitt, North Ice, North Grip Camp in the Raven Skiway. Currently, there is a year-round station, Summit Camp, on the ice sheet, established in 1989. The radio station Jorgen Bronland Fjord was, until 1950, the northernmost permanent outpost in the world. The extreme north of Greenland, Perryland, is not covered by an ice sheet, because the air there is too dry to produce snow, which is essential in the production and maintenance of an ice sheet. If the Greenland ice sheet were to melt away completely, the world's sea level would rise by more than, between 1989 and 1993, U.S. and European climate researchers drilled into the summit of Greenland's ice sheet, obtaining a pair of long ice cores. Analysis of the layering and chemical composition of the cores has provided a revolutionary new record of climate change in the Northern Hemisphere going back about 100,000 years, and illustrated that the world's weather and temperature have often shifted rapidly from one seemingly stable state to another. With worldwide consequences, the glaciers of Greenland are also contributing to a rise in the global sea level at a faster rate than was previously believed. Between 1991 and 2004, monitoring of the weather at one location showed that the average winter temperature had risen almost 
Other research has shown that higher snowfalls from the North Atlantic Oscillation cause the interior of the ice cap to thicken. An average of per year between 1994 and 2005. However, a recent study suggests a much warmer planet in relatively recent geological times. Scientists who probed through a Greenland glacier to recover the oldest plant DNA on record said that the planet was far warmer hundreds of thousands of years ago than is generally believed. DNA of trees, plants, spiders, and insects including butterflies from beneath the southern Greenland glacier was estimated to date to 450,000 to 900,000 years ago, according to the remnants retrieved from this long-vanished boreal forest. That view contrasts sharply with the prevailing one that a lush forest of this kind could not have existed in Greenland any later than 2.4 million years ago. These DNS samples suggest that the temperature probably reached in the summer and in the winter. They also indicate that during the last interglacial period, 130,000-116,000 years ago, when local temperatures were on average higher than now, the glaciers on Greenland did not completely melt away. In 2003, a small island, in length and width, was discovered by Arctic explorer Dennis Schmidt and his team. At the coordinates of 8342, whether this island is permanent is not confirmed as of yet. If it is, it is the northernmost permanent known land on Earth. In 2007 the existence of a new island was announced. Named, Uunatokkakertak. This island has always been present off the coast of Greenland, but was covered by a glacier. This glacier was discovered in 2002 to be shrinking rapidly, and by 2007 had completely melted away, leaving the exposed island. The island was named Place of the Year by the Oxford Atlas of the World in 2007. Ben Keane the Atlas editor commented, in the last two or three decades, global warming has reduced the size of glaciers throughout the Arctic and earlier this year. News sources confirmed what climate scientists already knew, water, not rock, lay beneath this ice bridge on the east coast of Greenland. More islets are likely to appear as the sheet of frozen water covering the world's largest island continues to melt. Some controversy surrounds the history of the island, specifically over whether the island might have been revealed during a brief warm period in Greenland during the mid-20th century. Thank you for watching. Brought to you by WikiVD Documentaries. Please like and subscribe below. Please like and subscribe below.